is Fox 9 News with Robin Robinson, Jeff Passelt, meteorologist Jamie Peterson, and sports with Jeff Grayson. The Northwest Airlines is admitting tonight that it's running out of time to avoid bankruptcy. Carriers blaming spike in fuel prices. Meanwhile, a top secret plan by Northwest Airlines mechanics turned into an explosive situation. The striking workers attempted to keep their replacements from work. Rochelle McGinnis is live in Bloomington with that story. Rochelle? I can tell you union members met in this parking lot at strike headquarters earlier today. It was here that they boarded three buses. Now most of the workers had no idea where they were heading. They were simply told it would be the biggest thing they'd done yet. With Labor Day just around the corner. This is our weekend. This is Labor Day weekend. Union members say they're taking it to a new level. Part picket. You guys are standing on the front lines of the labor movement. You're making history right now. Part rally. What will you do if police tell you that you have to move? We'll see when we get there. Part barricade. Today they're not going to go to work. That's all it is. Today there's no scabs going to work. Union members converged on three Twin Cities hotels housing replacement workers. It was a plan so secretive only union leadership knew where the members were heading. The idea to catch Northwest off guard and prevent the workers from getting to work. I'm going to stand in front of this bus. That's, I'm not going to let this bus leave until the police tells me I, I can't stay here. Wherever bus loads of replacement workers went, union members were waiting. Your parents know what you're doing. Fox 9 cameras caught this face-to-face -face confrontation between union members and a replacement worker. You're taking my job, man. No, man. Yes, you I'm are. Get out. out of the work. No, you won't. What do you, you think I'm doing? Get out, out, man. man. This is my state, this city. I don't, I don't care. You're a scam. What? Eventually, police did break it up, telling union members they'd have to let the empty bus go, but it wouldn't go far. What was the deal with the flat tire on the first bus? I have no idea about any of that. But through the chanting, the finger pointing, and the gesturing, a bus did load in one hotel's back parking lot, and police made it clear this time the bus would not be stopped. Does that mean this was a failure for you? No, absolutely not. We, we kept one bus from leaving. We uh, disrupted their chain of events. Now, union members handed out these flyers today asking replacement workers to stop crossing the picket line. There's even a number on the bottom here where they're telling replacement workers they can call for gas money or a bus ticket home. Didn't see a lot of takers on this today, but the replacement worker that you saw in our video, he said he will be changing one thing, and that's his hotel. Reporting live in Bloomington, Rochelle McGinnis, Fox 9 News. All right, thanks, Rochelle. Labor unions come to the aid of Northwest Mechanics. Two weeks ago, they blocked buses of replacement workers. And tonight, they used their cars to plug up Airport Lane. That's the main road where replacement workers enter and exit the maintenance facility. Rochelle McGinnis was there and joins us now with more. Rochelle? Well, you know, it started as a rally and ended with at least two people in handcuffs. Today's union rally. We do have power, and the more of us that act together, the more power we have. Drew a crowd of hundreds. If the managers, vice presidents, and CEO of Northwest Airline did half as good a job running that airline as the AMFA Local 33 mechanics do keeping the planes in the air, then that airline wouldn't be bankrupt today. But it's what happened after the rally. Please join the car caravan to go greet the picketers. That was supposed to send a message of just how bad, bad they could be. The music across the freeway was a symphony of horns. Don't you love a parade? Well, I didn't know anything about this. That was my normal strike duty right here today. And then when it happened, it was a surprise. The car caravan stretching blocks and blocks plugged up airport lane right at shift change. It's beautiful. Gotta stand for what's right. We're not gonna lay down and, and just roll over. But it wouldn't be long before this guy found himself sitting in the back of a squad car, one and then another, arrested for impeding traffic. We gotta go, so grab our stuff and as soon as we can get out, let's go. Airport police closed the gates. Replacement workers were taken in the other side of the airport and everyone over here was ordered to clear out. They ruined our parade. Still, 
feeling a strong message was sent. And it just shows us and everyone else, we still got a lot of support out there. Now, even those who had permission to picket there had to leave. One union member told me they could lose their permit to picket there. Reporting live in Bloomington, Rochelle McGinnis, Fox 9 News.